Um, last thing I would like to catch up on is Amazon and the changes that they have introduced. Now, Amazon over the last few months have been introducing a lot of webinars and documents on how the VAT will change and what will be the new elements on it um, and how you will trade on Amazon. But a quick catch up is, if you are uh, doing Amazon MFN, um, then you're fulfilling it yourself, but selling on Amazon. You now need to take care of custom declaration, payment uh, tariff payments, and compliance of the product specification. So this is all your personal responsibility now. Um, any export and import you do to um, the shipping company, the, those shipping company will ask you for your HS code, for the payments of the tariffs, and um, the registration in the country you're selling the goods to. And um, if you don't have that, if you don't have that form in front of you before the shipping agency comes to you, they won't take your goods and they will not pass it on to um, the, the country you're selling, trying to sell it to. Um, for Amazon FBA, um, it's well known that FBA will not be applicable between UK and EU anymore. Um, the note from Amazon says that due to Brexit as of January 1st, 2021, Amazon is unable to fulfill FBA orders across borders between UK and EU. So to sell with FBA, both in UK and EU, you will need to send inventories in both fulfillment centers and they can then uh, do the fulfillment through their countries in those specific areas. But UK and EU cannot do FBA anymore among each other without paying the import, VAT and customs. Um, so the small short takeaway from all of this is that at the point of sale, when you're selling uh, your products in the UK, where are the goods? Uh, if the goods are outside UK um, uh, and the value of them is less than 135 pounds, um, the, you don't need to worry about the import VAT or, or customs. Your VAT will be handled by the uh, marketplace themselves, which is a, a really good thing because you're not then handling the VAT yourself. The marketplace is doing all the declaration, payment, and, and all, vice, uh, all the uh, admin work for you. Um, uh, again, if you're someone who's selling outside the UK into um, UK uh, with the same shipping cost, um, the same rules apply to you. The only difference is if it's more than 135 pounds, then the import VAT and custom kicks in. But again, with the import VAT, it's now calculated on your VAT calculation rather than on spot. Um, that's it from my side. Um, Go, I'll give it back to you. And thank you for your time, everyone. Thank you, Taimo, for uh, sharing all those important details. So I'm going to hand this uh, now over to Christoph Chara from Hello Tax, the operations manager there, to cover some more elements on EU VAT filings. So on to you, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Hello and good afternoon, everyone. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm Chris. I'm um, as as I was already introduced, operations manager with uh, several years of experience in VAT. Uh, being an operations manager in HelloTax since uh, 2018. Um, let's have a look at the presentation that we prepared together with the team for uh, for all of you. Great. Right. Thank you. <clears throat> so let's, if you can please move to the next one. So uh, for the part which, uh, which is interesting for online sellers, what will change after Brexit? Well, there are two scenarios to, to groups we need to consider if you're in a uk based um, seller that would like still to continue to have a competitive uh, the deliveries uh, to be trading inside EU, you would have to consider storing inside EU and fulfill that those those warehouses there and actually it applies the same way for eu sellers wanting to have the same thing in in, in uk both are separated now. There, there cannot be any goods movements like then were also mentioned. EU um, and UK are two separate markets. Okay. Right, so uh, to still be able to, 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 to continue trading inside EU as a UK based seller, first thing is the warehouse, the storing part, but with that, uh, there also is a VAT registration and all the VAT reporting that you will have to uh, to consider. One side note from my side is that uh, choosing that place where you would like to be registered or stay registered in is important because there are some fiscal representation requirements for some countries, and there those uh, very often are uh, costing extra. Yeah, and 
as also Taimur mentioned, uh, the EORI number uh, begins to be very important also for EU part, because if any, anything you would like to import inside to, to the EU, then you have to have uh, one of the countries, because that's uh, something you get only in one country, it's an EU EORI number, yeah? Right, and for the other way around, so if you will be an EU seller still wanting to be uh, to have the the competitive uh, option of having your goods stored inside UK, being able to ship them as soon as possible, and now the time is a very important factor for all the uh, buyers, for all the you know, clients of marketplaces. You have to have the same thing, so you have to be registered in uh, to to VAT in UK and have the the returns. With their with their little differences that they were also mentioned of new of new obligations of marketplaces, uh, but basically that's the same thing. Now, the next, uh, if we can move, please uh, go to the next one. Uh, I would like just to build on top what uh, what I more already said and maybe a bit uh, summarize it as well. So. From the 1st January 2021, marketplaces will be, will be liable for, for VAT uh, payments. But if you have your own website uh, or um, if you have um, B2B sales inside, correct me if I'm wrong, but the B2B sale is also uh, one of the things that um, actually will be part of the domestic reverse charge if the goods are outside of UK and if they're inside, then this is being actually on the seller side, not marketplace, yeah? That, uh, that, that, yeah. that uh, it will be covered. Yeah, and the other part is that uh, it's, it's important also to know that the similar changes, if you can move to the next one, please, Will now, the similar changes will be introduced inside EU from 1st of July, 2021, yeah? There are, there are different, let's say, rates. Here we talk about 22 euro, there we talk about 150 euro as well of the, of the imports coming inside EU. But basically, the same changes will, will uh, apply in regards, of, in regards to all the online marketplaces obligations. But in this case, not to UK overseas, but to non-EU countries, which also includes UK. Yeah? There, there will be some uh, distance state threshold limits also changes, but more about that in next webinars that HelloTax will introduce in 2021. 